Hi guys, yours truly Macon here. Welcome back to the channel and the newest installment of Flea Markets and Vintage Markets of the World. Where are we going? It's up to you, New York, New York. We are visiting the Chelsea Flea Market at 29 West 25th Street. That is between 6th Avenue and Broadway. Open every Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. all year round. They say rain or shine unless noted. So I believe it might be closed for some holidays. When I lived in New York, the flea market used to also be all along 6th Avenue here. But since then, they have built a building there where once was just a parking lot and the market is only in the 25th Street now. Even though the market is a little smaller these days, it still packs a big punch, especially when you consider the New York show place right across the street. But we will get to that a little later. Enjoy. The New York Show Place is one of the best addresses in the city for those seeking the best in art, design, fashion, jewelry, collectible objects, just everything vintage. It's like lamp galore up here.
In the basement are auctions every day and bi-weekly estate auctions. to take part in the auction. Something caught my eye. And sold to the lady. Of course, I always give a restaurant recommendation close by. You need to keep up your nourishment and energy while flea market shopping. Bazaar Tapas Bar and Restaurant. Block over at 31 West 26th Street. You actually can just walk through the alley opening from the flea market to 26th Street. to be shopping on Sunday, Bazaar offers a bottomless Sunday brunch with live music. Okay, you guys, now for my haul. I know you are curious. I bought this vintage African Cuba cloth, expanding my multicultural cloths that I use on my dining room table as runners. I have the Eat Cut, now the Cuba, and I'm searching for a Suzani. I got these gorgeous Wedgwood porcelain teacups and saucers, a set of six. And what did I win in the auction? Mm, the suspense. Uh, okay, this incredible painting from John Edward Stevens Jr., a prolific New York-based mid-century artist. This painting is from 1950. There was another painting from him that I wanted when it was up for auction in 2016, but I lost. I will put up a picture here of that painting uh, from 2016. So when I saw one of his paintings hanging there on that Sunday, going up for auction within a couple of hours, I cannot believe my luck. What a great birthday present for me. It doesn't have its forever spot or place in my apartment yet. I am waiting on a commission case piece for the dining area, and then he will assume his place of honor above that piece. You guys, you do not have to be present to bid in any of the showplace auctions. You can register. I will leave the link to the website below. Then you can bid online or per telephone. There were about five or six auction employees sitting to the left of me on the computer or phone, and some phone bidder was giving me the run for my money. I felt like that that, that scene um, from uh, the first Sex in the City movie. Remember when Samantha was bidding on the flower ring? I wanted to yell out, effing blank, blank, thousand dollars. Luckily, it did not come to that. I was able to keep my composure. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bells so you don't miss the next city. And as always, yours truly, Art Make It. Bye. From New York, concrete jungle where dreams are made. No. Alicia Keys would probably sue me for butchering her song. I didn't cross my legs, get a little ladylike. Ah, why can't I say Wedgwood? Wedgwood. Wedgwood.